sea of green leaving the garden tonight. The fans in high spirits, almost levitating. WBZ's Brandon Truitt is live in Boston. And Brandon, on top of the win tonight, fans are so excited for what's next. Yeah, Lisa, I have to tell you, these stories are so much more fun when we win, right? Well, it's a bit quieter now, but once the Celtics sealed the deal, Causeway Street looked a little bit more like this. And this is what it looks like when the Celtics deliver a series ending win, the sound of victory on their road to a championship. At the end of the day, we knew we were going to take it. You know what I'm saying? It's the Cavs, bro. But it's absolutely amazing. Great. Time. I don't know how to say it. Energy was so Let's go, Celtics! Fans poured out of the garden and down those famed steps to celebrate along Causeway Street. The Celtics win over the Cavaliers, ending this series at home. Woo! So I'm confident this team can go all the way. I mean, I say that all the time as a fan, but this year I, I truly believe it. Fans who weren't in the garden filed into the bars just across the street. Yay! This game of highs and lows got closer than many would have liked. Considering how the regular season went, I would like it if they would put teams away a little bit, like harder. But a win is a win. Just ask eight-year-old Will and his seven-year-old sister Rylan, who were in the garden for all of the playoff action. And it was like really exciting. They and Al Horford made a lot of blocks. It was amazing. I have to tell you, when fans were leaving here, they were chanting, we want New York, a clear indication that they want the Celtics to take on the Knicks in the conference final. Live in Boston, Brandon True at WBZ News. Love the sound of that. Brandon, thank you.